What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Cracking the Cold One with the Boys. I'm your host, Blair. And I'm Joe. <laughs> Did you almost forget your name? Blair? <laughs> <laughs> Shouting some dramatic pause. Um, and yo, we got somebody straight from Miami that flew in. <laughs> She's on tour right now. She got a couple albums. <laughs> if only. Ashley! Wait, how do you say your last name? <laughs> Zabala Diaz. Oh. Wait, you got two? Mm-hmm. It's a hyphen? Technically it is, but every time I put on application, they say that's not a real name. So no, yes. What? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It is a real name, hyphen. No. I know, it's annoying, oh, yeah. but... So you have to put a space instead, or you gotta yeah. choose one? No, I have to put a space instead. Oh. Um, yeah, mm-hmm. it's annoying. Because the computer doesn't like it? Is that the one? I don't know. Like it? It's like multiple programs that I've like applied to and stuff, and it's like, no, that's not a real name. And I'm like, ugh. Yeah. The Excel sheet. I like your nails, by the way. Thank you. This girl oh, nice. did her thing, honestly. Oh, yeah, she did. I'm like obsessed. It looks like a uh, elfin kind of. Uh, oh, it is dope. She did really thing. good, and I'm kind of mad that I saw her last minute. <laughs> and now you're like, damn. Yes. All this time I was like suffering with ugly nails, but she did her thing. So. It was from the nail salon. No, she actually has like her own spot in downtown LA and she just opened it. So it's literally just her doing her nose and she wait, takes- uh, Wait, how'd you find her though? So I went to like an event, it was like a Femi Power event and one of the bartenders had her nails done and I was like, oh my God, how'd you like, where'd you get your nails done? And yeah. she gave me the IG and then I stalked her IG for like four days <laughs> <laughs> until I found I a date and then yeah, I set an appointment, so. How, how much is like like nails like that? If, if you'd go and, Ooh, and get guess. those done. Let me guess. Uh, yeah, was, they're uh, pretty nice. Uh, wait, let me see the other one. Guess too. S- same thing, right? Same concept. Okay. Show the I camera. Would, yeah, show the camera. Um, I'm gonna guess. I don't want to be too excessive because you know guys will think over the top. I'll say about one fifty. What's yours, Joe? Damn, I was gonna say fifty bucks. Okay, yeah. so normally, if I would have done this in Miami, it would have been probably close to two hundred. Okay. But the girl only charged me seventy five. Oh. Which is honestly not bad. Damn, like when she that told me so detailed order for seventy five. Yes. She literally she was like, Oh, it's seventy five. So like we kept chit chatting and then I was like, Wait, so it's seventy five? And she was like, Yeah, it's seventy five. And, and I was like, I was like wow. Plus a service fee. Plus a service fee. Which is an extra forty. I mean, I literally yeah. was expecting her to like charge me a lot and I was like mentally prepared for it because I was like, Whatever, it's my birthday nails, but it's with the tip? Or you gave a No, I gave her a tip. I gave okay, her, you cool. know, I gave her additional wow. tip. How much she, do you tip for that? Is that kind of just like a barber thing? Um for, so like, I normally so it's like Ten bucks, eight bucks. You only do ten bucks. Wow. Um, I know. You said I only do. (laughs) (laughs) It depends on how good the girl is. Normally, I do twenty dollar tip, but if they do like design and stuff like that, then I'll do thirty. God damn. (laughs) I actually don't tip. You don't. My my barber. Is that why your shape ups messed up? No, I'm just kidding. (laughs) (laughs) kidding. Oh oh, damn. Uh, No, it's I don't know. It just uh, he doesn't like. He literally does not care about that. He just wants you to just pay. I think he kind of purposely includes his tip, which is why it's like 50 bucks for yeah. a haircut. I think that's his way of like, let me just kind of up the price and that's the tip. If you choose to tip me, that's cool. But if not, I'm kind of technically getting it from you anyway. How often do you go? I just went two days ago because I knew I was doing this. And then... uh Something else was supposed to happen today, but it never happened. So, be go like maybe once a month, uh, twice a once month, every once every other week. Damn. So yeah, that's good yeah. for doing that. Yeah, it's uh, I gotta, gotta stay looking fresh. And honestly, dude, my hair was starting to grow and do that like flat top shit again. And I was like, nah, I just want to do that <laughs> shit. No. Man, it's really, you know, what? let's keep going on this tipping thing because I'm curious. <laughs> yeah. How much do you tip at restaurants? It also depends on the service, too. <laughs> oh, even, even by service? If, if it's good, you do... If, I mean, I try to do, like, 10 to 20 as well. 10 to 20? Yeah. I don't ever... Don't uh, tell me you don't tip. No, I don't... <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, Zero. <laughs> She's like, good thing I'm fucking leaving yeah. now. I, no, no, I don't follow the whole uh, tip system. Like, I see mm. other people that do that. I just look at the total... And I kind of just judge off of that. I'm just like, mm, okay, I'll do this. Uh, no, I spent like 70 bucks, so I'll probably just give them like a 20 or something like that. I don't I don't take the time to do all that. I just 
I always I do 15. I always do 15. You always do 15? Yeah, just type in the calculator times 0.15 <laughs> and just do that. And then even, what, what about bars? Like if you go out and you get a drink, you yeah, get one yeah. drink, you get one drink at a bar, just a beer or a, or a like a Jack and Coke or yeah. mixed drink or whatever. What's the tip? It's a good tip. <laughs> Um, I do like five dollars, but it, no, wait, no, <laughs> no, because the thing is, though, I'm like constantly when I go out, I constantly get drinks. So I'm like, you know, it adds up. But when I, I was, when, this, I don't no, no, when I was you young, drink? no, listen, listen, but when I was, hey, so, so, no, 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 listen, but when I was younger and uh, technically I was drinking underage, I had a bartender <laughs> Sorry, who mom. like hooked it up. So then he wouldn't charge me for all the drinks, but I would tip him really good. Okay, so yeah, that, like, that's different. That's uh, different because yeah. you knew him, and then it's kind of like instead yeah. of yeah give it to the man you give it to your friend <laughs> yeah yeah um but, but yeah. it was just like just any any bar you'd five bu- five dollars like, usually for each drink i feel like that's fair no for the the drinks yeah. like yeah 15 bucks 16 bucks are you or consistently whatever. hitting five like each time because you said you go up when you're going out your drink so it's like yeah. five, five on top of so each. imagine that i'm giving at the end of the night i, I end up giving like 30 dollars oh really look i at see it. what you're saying oh you know? okay Damn, dude. Wait, so how much do you tip? My every drink is one dollar, but that's been since like I was <laughs> I was twenty one. <laughs> but I've always heard that rule. That's just like that's just what my dad said. He's like really? he's like every drink he has a dollar. Yeah, your dad's but this is time. But he's like yeah, dude, that's so long ago. And then, but I don't know. Wait, so am I tipping too much? No, no. I think you're tipping perfectly fine. I think it d- depends on the area. So like, I guess we'll see. Um, <laughs> this drink, which is just water, guys, and um. This drink here, like, cause I like I like my Malibu and Sprite, cause I don't really like to I don't drink, so that's like less alcohol. That drink's probably like fourteen bucks right there, and then, uh, but in Nebraska, that same Malibu and Sprite, that same cup, that's four bucks. So I'm yeah. a dollar would make sense mm-hmm. tipping, but since here that's like fourteen, a five dollars would make a little bit more sense, not a dollar. Yeah, <laughs> but like when we go to emo night. Um, because it's fourteen bucks, I I just tip them. I just tip them five, even though they don't do nothing. <laughs> They're just is you know, that's it. If they have a little like at the end of the night, I definitely tip a lot more because it's it's the it's like do you want to do the eighteen percent or twenty percent? I was just like do the cross. I'm like I don't want to do math right now. You go. You just circle in this one right here. A dollar. That one. That's so <laughs> She's crazy. Like, no, 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 one dollar. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 one dollar only. I had no idea you were sipping the dollar. Now I'm just gonna look like, damn. Wait, bro. have they ever given you a bad look though? Do they actually look at the paperwork? <laughs> Joe's gone then, before he can even experience that. <laughs> literally, yeah. They never give me a bad look. No. No. <laughs> No, is wait, August. How much do you tip? Am I, am I a shitty person, or am I just way too? A drink, just just getting a. Joe like they, only they, they tips slide, a they, dollar. They slide you a beer at a bar. At a bar. Yeah, yo, August is like at a, a bar? dollar. One one dollar per drink. Yeah. One dollar so. per drink. Yo, August, that's what I'm saying. August like, is like, yo, bro, you lame. I'm, I'm, it depends. Sometimes I'll do like like twenty for the whole night, or yeah. Or I'll do like I don't know per drink. I'll probably do like like five dollars. See, five dollars work. Per drink? What the? F- per drink. What so the fuck? for the people that are listening, there's someone talking off camera right now. This is gonna be yeah. this is gonna be the only clip that blows up. It's all gonna be bartenders <laughs> being dollar. like, "Fuck you, it's dude." Be the one dollar like, man. Hey, hey, blame me. <laughs> Yo, find this guy's uh, instant. Uh, fucking cancel him. <laughs> cancel one dollar man. Is okay. You know, speaking. That's of just cancel. what I heard a long time ago. So yeah, just kept doing it. Okay, so obviously, you're not a content creator and influencer. No, you know, I am not. But, um, before we get into what you what you do, um, if you were to do content creating and be an influencer, is there something that you could that you would get canceled for? And is it is it something that you can tell us that you would be worried about? That we get canceled for? Wow, that's yeah. a really good question because I've yeah. never even thought of any of that. <laughs> yeah, because you're like, yeah, I know. That yeah. I would get canceled for? Try, is there anything, Joe? Why? Why you're thinking? You you already got it. I feel like I do have it. Okay, what is it? Um, I feel like because let's say you're you're 1.7 million followers, and this is the one thing you're like, ugh, it hasn't came up yet. But if it does, I mean, it's I don't. Over. I wouldn't say it hasn't come up yet, but I think me being Puerto Rican and not being fluent in Spanish, oh, oh might, shit, yeah. might definitely get me canceled because you know I like I. Rep it hard and everything but i'm not 
fluent in Spanish. So it uh, might be one of those things where like maybe I'll say a word and then it'll be wrong and they'll be like, ah, no, you're not Puerto Rican. You're Americanized. Yeah. So I think that would be that, definitely the okay. thing that would get me canceled. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> what, about, sure. what about you, Joe? Is there anything that you're worried? That I would get canceled for? Yeah. Oh man, probably too much stuff. But that uh, one dollar man. Yeah, that one dollar. I think you already got canceled. You don't even have to think about. It. Just literally, just yeah. say that. It's, it's I think really honestly, that. for me, there is something, but we're not gonna get into that. I think it would be the podcast. <laughs> the podcast. Really? Yeah, because in our earlier stages of podcasting, we were definitely talking about a lot of things. But it's not. It's not. It's nothing like bad. It's just like. It's like if I got on with Disney, Disney probably wouldn't like it because we're talking about like sex and stuff. Mm. So that would be that would be something that would cancel me because I'm where like one of our podcast episodes were like rank sex positions. What? <laughs> yeah, we're I think we had like seven. Yeah, we had seven sex positions and we were ranking them like what we thought what each of us thought was like. We did the, that? The, yeah. Yeah that, was, <laughs> yeah, that was like the third episode or something like with that. With Rez? Yeah, with Rez, yeah. Or oh, that, that makes sense. It was yeah. Rez's fault, yeah. not us. Yeah. You, guys are, you guys are being risky, that's what it was. <laughs> yeah, so like if I was doing something with like kids or Disney or something, then they would finally, oh, yeah, no, we canceled, don't know. Canceled, But sure. as a general, mm, nah, nothing. I do say a lot of thought-provoking things that people would be like, do you do you really co-sign on that? And I'm like, no, I just like to ask the questions just to ask for no reason. But yeah. Um, were you about to say something? Too? Yeah, I was, saying, I was about to agree with you that that's what, I mean, that's what goes viral. That's what gets the content is stuff that's a little bit controversial. Yeah. Always. Uh, mm-hmm. I'm not going to say it. I know you're going to be like, well, what is it? Uh, I know you keep like saying, no, 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 saying no. Say stuff. There was something that we, I, Joe told me, hey, matter of fact, don't post that one. <laughs> no, there is something we were talking about. We oh, were talking, talking about the clips ba- a while ago? Yeah, one yeah, one of the clips that I was going to post. And uh, you didn't want me to post it up. It was, it, I mean, the audio is already out. It was about bases. Oh, yeah yeah, 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 yeah. And like, it was fine in the moment, but then... It was, it was kind of weirdly like the clip was out of context a little bit, and it was kind of like, oh yeah, that's, that, that just yeah. looks bad. And since he works at you know a big boy job, it's like, yeah, you don't want that coming back. Yeah, no. Somebody. Which, uh, by the way, you're, you're a nurse. I am a nurse. I'm sick. Take care of me. No, I'm playing. I know. I just just joking. Jesus, relax. Such a turn off. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've I've never said that to you. This was that that was just a joke. That was literally just. Wait, a has that ever been a pickup line somebody's tried to use? <laughs> Yes. I didn't say that. Yes, it has been. Oh, so you Multiple can take times. care of me? Uh, yeah. Really? Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Multiple, uh. yeah. They're like, oh, you're a nurse. I'm sick. Take care of me. Ooh. Come here. Like, no. Wait, we were talking about like the first time you're going on a date. They... No, just like when I have the apps and <laughs> it like they, they, sounds like a bumble thing yeah, or they something. Well, yeah. it's actually a hinge. It's happened on hinge. Oh, Lord bless your soul. Um, But um, yeah, no, they say that to me and then boop, I'm blocked. Conversation. Oh. They try with that conversation. Yeah, started. no. To me, it's so unattractive. I just blah, blah, blah. was it was it unattractive the first time you heard it, or did you let it slide? It's always been unattractive to me. Oh, since yeah, since I don't find it. I don't find that appealing like at all. Wow. Yeah. Homie got the blood. Yeah, I don't play. That's just not. I don't. I don't find it attractive at all. Uh, what's the? Because I'm probably going to ask you some dumb questions. What's some <laughs> dumb questions that everybody usually asks you? For being a nurse, yeah, yeah, being a nurse. Wow, that's probably a good the one first thing that come to my mind is, what's the grossest thing you've ever had to deal with or seen? <laughs> probably that I've seen yep. that, but the thing is, though, I always talk about poop whenever I hang out with my friends. Yeah, 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 yeah. you're in the right. Poop. You're on the right <laughs> part. <laughs> yeah, likes to talk about poop. So oh, literally, God. whenever I'm you with... do too. <laughs> <laughs> yes. 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 Um, dumbest question. Wow. No, go back to the poop. The poop start with the, the, start poop. With the poop. Yeah. I mean, they just like I just always talk about shit. Like I don't know, like. <laughs> Literally, like, I'll be like, oh, I haven't pooped today. And then my friends are like, we haven't pooped today. Or they'd be like, oh, that poop smell. Or, like, cold brown on, like, the floor. And so we <laughs> cold brown. So cold brown for us is, like, when someone took a really big poo-poo Oh, on Is job. that usually when people die? Because I know you, like, shit your pants when you die. No, that's cold blue. It's cold die. blue. <laughs> cold blue and brown. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Same time. Yeah. Does that, sorry to get into a little morbid moment. Does that really happen? Really happen? Like you just when sometimes when the patients do like decompensate code. and stuff like that they do that just but not okay. right when they die it's like maybe ten minutes or so you're like get them, <laughs> just just like, get them the to the well I mean by the time you sit here and turn them around you know find yeah. out it's 
Yeah. You know, so yeah. On the first uh, day of me uh, working at a hospital, I was a patient escort and uh, I was training and we had to go get this old guy. Um, you know, he was uh, on bed rest for a very long time, so couldn't get up. You know how it is. He get, but as the nurses and everyone was helping him up, as he was walking towards the wheelchair, he just starts shitting just going <laughs> and it just and he was like oh I'm, I'm sorry i'm so sorry but like it just he couldn't help it it's just go. and I'm, this is my first day and i'm like man and then my trainer's like yep yep welcome to the big leagues i'm like oh god damn but yeah. as a patient escort we ain't got to clean it it's just our job to yeah i was gonna tell. say all you guys no, just no, no, look no, at no. it it's either tell the cna or the nurse that's on that the nurse that has that room but no we ain't gotta clean it yeah no but. that's like the worst i actually had <laughs> a patient you speaking about that my first two years i worked with adults and i was walking one of my patients and literally while she was walking with her little walker she was dropping little hershey squirts <laughs> in the hallway <laughs> and i literally you know like at, at first hershey like, squirts? yeah they were like literally like that tiny no. little thing and i like looked at it and i was like wait is that like I had to like you had really to follow like, the trail. I if had she to ever like gets really lost, like you know where to find it. it. And I'm like, wow, she's like really taking a poo poo like on the, in the hallway. Like that's insane. So yeah, no, not the. I've had lots of poop stories. That's just one. Um, oh my god, I feel like I have so many. Like <laughs> yo, Joe, this is, Joe's like this is the this is, this is gonna be no, because I had it's one story that's like the, to sorry. me it's funny because no, go ahead say it. Oh, well, yeah. I was like helping cleaning an adult patient RIP because she's dead now. Oh, okay. but um, literally like I was holding her and my friend was like wiping her butt but her, her <laughs> face was so close to the butt and literally the patient farted in her face <laughs> so like every time i think about that story i like message my friend i'm like yo do you remember this one time that this happened or whatever but i got paid back because i had a baby like farting in my face so it's like okay that's a payback, that's a, that's a payback for me so yeah <laughs> Oh my god! What? I, I, yeah, no. I feel like I have a, a lot of stories like working with adults. Baby fart in your face? Were you like holding it up and it just farted? Yeah, well, because you know they're little sneaky little poo poos. Like if you don't <laughs> sit, if you don't sit here and put the diaper quick enough, they'll like pure fart. And I'm just like, really? Yeah. <laughs> and they're just like, <laughs> yeah. They're so disrespectful, man. I swear. I'm Big like, disrespectful. Yes. I'm literally and like especially when you clean them, you put a clean, nice little diaper, and they just pee and poop right away. And I'm like, really, like. Like you just, I just wiped you. I just yeah. clean you. Yeah. You're right. At least the old person says sorry when it happens. When sometimes. Sorry, sometimes. 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 Um, so, so I wanted to tell you, Joe, uh, before I forget, as I was getting off the freeway in Woodman, all right, mm -hmm. change the subjects. I know. Very drastic. Uh, there was a car that was just like yours. I was hunking at this car for like 20 minutes and I'm just like, <laughs> and the guy literally looked like you and I'm like, Joe, Joe. And the guy's just like, arm out. And I'm just like, <laughs> and then I passed him and it's this old dude. And I'm like, oh, fuck. Damn. <laughs> and I was like, I got, I got to fucking tell Joe. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I thought I saw you today, buddy. But no, damn, that was me. I just got out of the car. Replacing <laughs> the car. <laughs> um, so you're from Miami. <laughs> so technically, hey. I'm from Maryland. Okay, so Puerto Rican, oh, okay. raised in I, Maryland. Yeah, I like to make a cool story, but sure. I know it's just like people are like, yeah. "Oh, you're like, you know, from Miami," and I'm like, "Cause then they like to hit me with all this history and stuff like that," uh, and I'm like, "Whoa, whoa, 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 whoa!" Yeah, go ahead, give us. I the was history. raised in Maryland, but. I live in Miami right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right now. You know what's funny? When I uh, snagged, uh, got your number, I put your name as Ashley Miami. <laughs> really? Because yeah, I, at the, I didn't, I didn't know your last name. It was like I was like, oh, I'll just just a you know memory. So now my contacts is like trying to fight like which name do you want it's your actual name mm -hmm. or miami and i just haven't changed it so when you called it it popped up ashley miami or ashley how you say your last name I'm sorry. with my little photo yeah and i'm just like I'm well just i changed my photo i no longer have the drinking photo i have me like sitting in <laughs> france <laughs> no because my stepdad literally got on me because of it he was like look how bougie you are ashley and every time like my my uh, <laughs> face would pop up on my family's phone they'd be like look at that so it was the same thing the with the uh, drinking cup? Yep. Oh, okay. So, what I want to know is, you've been out here for what? Nine? Eight months. Eight months? Mm -hmm. When did you get out here? October. 
October. So it's gonna be, yeah, eight months. When did we meet? November. Did we meet De- November? Probably December. No. Yeah. You sure? No, I know. I know it wasn't January. Obviously, I think it was in December. Yeah. Um. What? What? But anyway, the the point of me asking is, like, what? What are the things that you are like? really coming to like about LA since you decided to stay a little bit longer that you are going to miss since you're leaving us the mountains yeah I knew that no, I knew that the already. mountains yeah, I like I you guys got are to somewhat flat out there yeah, yeah pretty much and got gators <laughs> Yeah, everyone Gator. says that, and I have yet to see one like walking around. <laughs> Watching you get yeah, up is gonna be like I have so yet a swamp to... nearby. Swamp. Not near me, but yeah, she's um, got a bougie place now. She's uh, she's up top. I'm up top, but you know, yeah, not that bougie. Not that bougie. The peasants. Not that bougie. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, definitely the mountains, and I got to discover that I love to hike. So I'm gonna miss yeah. being able to like get that little wake up in the morning. Out. Yeah, go hiking. Is there anything over there that? Um, I do have like a state park near me, but it's like mainly kayaking, mm. like jet skiing and stuff like that. Were you on a contract to come here for like a year or because you're from Miami and then you moved here for a year and then you're going back or you moved here and then now you want to go back? So what's, I, what's the story? <laughs> yeah, she never wanted to stay here. <laughs> she never wanted to stay no. here, man. Um, I originally came on a three month contract um, since I'm a travel nurse. And then I extended, yeah. gang, gang. then I extended for three more months because I was like, oh, like it's not that bad here. Let me try it out again. Because I feel like and the then first three. <laughs> no, honestly, I'm going to miss it. And then I met like a group of girls that are awesome. So I've yeah. been like hanging out with them and I've been like really exploring. Like I've really been out and about yeah. the last three months since I've been here. And I've enjoyed it. I like the fact that, I don't know, like I went to Yosemite and it was not that hot. And then I went to Palm Springs and it was like desert. Like you get different types. Yeah. Like yeah, you, get, you have a lot of variety in California. Like you can go skiing for one weekend and then come back here and it's still kind of warm. That is very true. And you go to the beach. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the beach they, though, they you the, can't go in the water, but at yeah. least for me, I don't like cold water. Yeah, but. I heard our water is not the best here. No, I go in and fuck it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, of course you're going to go in, but I heard it's not the best to go in. Yeah, no, it is not warm. I had a co worker that was like, oh, you should go to Big Sur and go in the water and blah, 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 blah. And I was like, but the water's like not even warm here. Like, you will not is catch Miami me. Miami really warm? Yeah, it's the you water's went, warm. Mm-hmm. I only know that because, uh, you know, I know Miami. You do know Miami. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Have never. you ever been, Blair, to nope. Miami? I will never go to Miami. Why not? It's dangerous. I don't think well, I, I thought you were about to say because yeah. she's there. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. oh, oh no. the shade. Yo, yo, wow. no. Goddamn, Joe. Y'all trying to give me kill those sight. <laughs> Literally. No. Uh, no, I would definitely I would definitely come out there and visit you. I would love to like, pull up on you and surprise you, but there's literally no way to surprise you <laughs> no because my schedule is always like all yeah. over the place yeah but no i've never been to miami but <laughs> i'm a little um, <laughs> um i'm a little scared I, okay as i'm saying this i gotta be smart and not make you know dumb decisions right however i'm a single guy and the, the women out there are very attractive and i'll i'll never forget what Derek told me when they went out there for a bachelor party uh yeah, they got they pretty much got their whole tab run up to like six grand, but like they were just mesmerized by like how the women were, <laughs> and he was like, "Yeah, player, be careful." But I've heard that from a lot of uh, other guys that are they're new to Miami, um, and then some other sketchy things about Miami. So yeah, you said that's the dangerous part. <laughs> yeah. Cause you know, you don't want to get caught up. I don't want to get caught up. And some well, okay. There is one dangerous thing. So like, people, it people. I don't think in LA you really can tell. Cause I uh, and you can you can tell me if I'm uh, you could disagree with me or not. Mm-hmm. But I think LA is a little bit. M- okay, no, they're both diverse uh, states, right? Um, but from what I hear, it's very easy for Miami people in that like South Beach area, like for them to pick out who's actually from Miami. And so when they go to like at these nightclubs, like there are times where girls will lure like tourist guys to like hotels and basically rob them. 
So that's like something I would, you know, I would be worried and hopefully not, you know, just mainly like, you know, I don't want any of my boys to get like, you know, caught up in a situation. Hey, yo, I'm about to go over to this girl's place and then pull up and then, they, you know, they get robbed. So, yeah. That's interesting because yeah. I've never, I mean, the thing is, though. I, mean, I don't see why you would ever hear that, though. <laughs> I, I was going to say, I was like, what? Yeah, I mean, no, I don't, you know, that's not my yeah, cup not of tea or whatever. But I feel like if you go to South Beach, you're automatically a tourist. Like, anybody who lives in Miami or, like, Fort Lauderdale, whatever, they don't go to South Beach. Like, I have friends who always come from Maryland, they go to South Beach, and I'll invite my friends who actually live in Miami with me, and they're like, I don't want to go to South Beach. Yeah. Like, that's just not a thing. It's always shootings happening, and then, like, Memorial Weekend, and I think it's, like, Miami. Is it Miami Music Week? There's another weekend where they pretty much have curfew because it gets like really mm -hmm. dangerous because people get like really drunk and stuff like that turning up in the, in the middle of the street and stuff and yeah 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 man i feel like everything you said about miami is probably what nebraska people say about la yeah <laughs> yeah they, they probably they probably do because they don't you know they don't get out like you know most of those people they grow up and like yeah cool uh, you see everything on the news which is like the worst of the worst, the worst. yeah no i mean I definitely want to go to Miami. I definitely do. I just haven't been, but now that I know you, you know, like. You should go. I tell everybody, like, you should totally go. Like, there's so many tra uh, travelers that I've met here. You okay? Yeah, I'm good. Oh, you care now. You care when, I, when, when no one asked. <laughs> no, but um, I met so many uh, travel nurse travelers here, and they love L.A., but they've never been to Miami. And I'm like, you guys don't understand. Like, Miami is, uh, I love it. Like, I love the weather. It's better than LA. I, so I will say. Go ahead, go ahead. LA's a little bit overrated. I like everything outside of LA. Um, yeah, I okay. think. <laughs> I'm trying to. <laughs> 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 I'm about to get canceled right now. Um, I just, I don't know. I feel like people hype it up way too much than what it is, but I'm also biased because I love Miami. Why, why do you like Miami the most over LA? Um, I definitely like the weather. I being raised in Maryland, like dealing with the all seasons and then this, you know, like here the morning's cold, then it's like hot and then it's cold again. Like I can't do that. Like I like being able to wear sandals and shorts all year round. You like the humidity though? Oh, I love it. It oh, does okay, wonders to my hair. hair. Oh, gotcha. I, oh, God. I love I love it. I like when I get off the airplane, it smacks me in the face to humidity. Like I just, <laughs> I, I love it. Like it's it's everything and more. I also like that because it's warm all year round. You can still do so many activities. There's always events going on. There's you always have the beach. You always have mm. the pool. Like I haven't been able to go out and lay by the pool since I've been here. And I went to the beach like huh. twice, but it's chilly. <laughs> like I can't even lay I mean there's people I've seen that lay out in their bathing suits <laughs> to each his own but it's not for me like I just sit there and I'm with a sweater wait so what were you doing in Palm Springs were you like laying out as if oh, you were I lay, no I laid out there yes oh, so I like lived my sun, best life sun, yeah, the sun's out buns out yes oh, I was living my best life <laughs> I got a little tan. I was very excited. <laughs> You're yeah. like a little bit of Miami I was so happy. Right now. No, okay. because my poor mom, she came to visit me that yeah. week and she was a little sick. So I was like, mommy, like, you know, when we get to Palm Springs, you'll be able to wear sandals. Like, you know, because you, she's so used to coming visiting me in Miami that like, you know, she never has to wear a jacket oh, yeah. or whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. So she was a little disappointed when she came here and she was still wearing a sweater. And I was Damn. like, I'm sorry, mom. The weather's so bipolar here. I can't even. Damn. Yeah. So. Oh, man. Was, um. Was just your mom? Your dad didn't come? No, just my mom. Oh, why the pops didn't come? Oh, um, I don't know. I don't know. Normally, she just comes and visit me, like myself, like herself, and mm -hmm. that's pretty much it. He'll come and visit once in a while. Is this? We also, they also have pets at home too, so it's like really uh, hard to find. Has to. Yeah. Uh, which, by the way, where is it, where's your cat? Is the is cat coming on the plane or is it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I already like called the airline. I was like, I'm gonna bring a cat with me. So she brought a cat with her. I did. I'm like, a cat? I do. The fluffy? <laughs> yes, fluffy. Nice. I want to get a cat one day. You one should. Day soon. I love having cats. I'm curious. Um, you, earlier you said that you <clears throat> you had dating apps. How, how, did, how did you cope with that coming out here? 
<laughs> Your face. <laughs> the little eyes that you are like. <sighs> um, so Versus like, you know, Miami to, to hear. What have you noticed? I'm probably the worst person to ask because I will ask. literally <laughs> get on a dating app for two weeks and then I will delete it. Um, I went, I think I had it. I want to say I had it for like two or three weeks when I came here. The guys are definitely taller. Oh, really? Um, yeah. That from what you've noticed? Yes. A lot, all Hispanic men are like super short, so that's all in Miami. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry, um, guys. <laughs> but you're about to get canceled for sure. I oh no, for sure. <laughs> <clipping> um, <laughs> but yeah, no. I mean, like I said, I'm the worst person to ask because I literally like, I don't really like swipe left or right. Like, so I don't really. Uh, I went on like two, three dates when I was here, and then and that was it. And then I just delete. <laughs> I just, just like, I just, I just, I don't know. I don't have the energy for it at times. Like, uh-huh. it's always the hi, how are you? How are things? <laughs> what do you like to do? What's your career? And blah 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 blah. And I'm like, okay, cool. And then I know, uh, me and me was uh, was uh, different because I'm an actor. So yes, that okay. <laughs> yes, that was okay. So yes, that's definitely a difference. Yeah. I feel like here a lot of people are actors or striving to be actors. Yeah. As in, in Miami, there's a lot of entrepreneurs, <laughs> a lot of influencers as well. <laughs> yes, um, a lot of accountings over there, like people yeah, who are in accounting and stuff like that. Yeah. So yeah, that I, that I definitely noticed. I was like, wow, acting, modeling, acting, modeling, acting, modeling. And yeah. I was like, okay, <laughs> I was like, okay, cool. Yeah. That. Whereas back home was just accounting, accounting, accounting. Yeah, accounting. pretty Roger, much. Roger, pretty Roger. much either that or they were very into fitness. So, yeah, um, my, Miami uh, Brickle area era is very big in all the whole fitness. Yes, that's where all the content creators are at. Personal Info- trainers, personal trainers. Yeah, podcasts. They are all in that little little hub. Yeah, but that's like from what I hear, that's like the nicest, safest area where the cops actually. Um, do their job and people don't have to worry about like shootings in in that area in Brickell, really yeah, yeah not not as much which by the way uh sean sent me one of the cops in because in miami the, they have a different type of like they deal with like obviously drugs a lot of places deal with that but they also deal with a lot of people that have fast cars so a lot of the cops actually like their cars are like supercharged and one of the uh one of the cop stations in Miami they actually have a fucking Royals Royce supercharged oh, yeah, yeah. yeah on was, their fucking thing uh, I'm like posted. are you telling me I'm going to get pulled over by a supercharged Royals Royce what the fuck <laughs> Like that's crazy. What? Really? Yeah. I didn't even know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One of the I don't. One of it, the it was, it was like a publicity stunt so that like kids would want to join. Yeah, and like be a part but of. They it. actually it, get to it's drive there. these cars. Yeah, it's there. Yeah. I'm but, starting to feel like I'm a fake my name. How do you know all this stuff and I don't? I'm over I, here like what? Yeah. Really? Nah, yeah. Well, because uh, there's a podcast I listen to that's out of Miami, but that's all I'll say that much on that. Um, yeah, no, there's a. There definitely is a, a cop car that has like it's like they're trying to be like Dubai, because Dubai, they all their cops have nothing but fast ass cars. Would have they're, never they're, known. I feel like I need to Google that. I'm surprised you haven't. Have you? Is that on your list of travels? Dubai. Honestly, no. 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 Ooh, it's a no. first. Mm-mm. What about Tulum? Nope. Oh wow, it's like the hot destination. No, I. What? Oh, no. The, <laughs> No. You just want to go to Puerto Rico and have your like nice little no, farmhouse. No, I so my next <laughs> spot uh, to travel to would be Thailand. So that's, oh, that's on my be list. Easy. I You're also gonna be like rich over there. I know. I'm yeah. excited. <laughs> um, but I heard I, the massages are good. So really, yeah, yeah. I'm just saying. Um, no, <laughs> I also want to do uh, Australia and I want to go to Africa. Those are like my two. Wait, okay, Africa's a big place. I know, but uh, whenever I find, <laughs> but those are, but those are like. You know, those are, I feel like those two are my next after Thailand. Australia is nice. I would love to definitely Australia, New Zealand, and Netherlands. Those are, those would be cool. I I want to go, but it's like, you know, spending the money. Like Thailand, I heard it, it, getting there is expensive, but once you're there, it's like, our dollar goes so far out there. I know, so I'm excited for that. Yeah, you're probably not going to come back. You know that. Why do they kidnap? 
Oh, no. <laughs> so you're just, just, <laughs> just gonna look at you like I'm neither or. Yeah. <laughs> <I'm kidding. laughs> Not going back that way. Yeah. Yeah. I know. I'm always. I watch too many serial co- uh, documentaries. So. Did you? Uh, oh, speaking of documentaries, if you guys watched the Dancing with the Devil. No, I, it just came out on Netflix. No. Yes, I started watching it, and um, one of the girls on there, I was briefly talking to. <laughs> Right at the tail end of when she was getting out, but I, she never told me that. It's like she never like said anything about that. Oh, she's part of this or whatever. And I knew she was a dancer, but people told me about her, like other dancer people. And I was like, oh, I mean, she seems fine. Like I don't know. They're like, oh, just be careful. And then. We went from the dating app to phone number, which always fucking happens. What I'm about to say. We go from the app to the phone number, and then she just stopped talking to me. <laughs> just, just stopped. And then I indirectly ran into her at someone's birthday party. And what I mean by indirectly was I was there invited with some pe- some friends, and then I just see in the distance it was her. And I'm like, oh, crap, that's... And they're like, oh, yeah, you you know, I'm like, yeah, you know, she was blah, 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 part of it. And then sure enough, she was on TV and I'm like, yo, that's crazy. I thought everyone's kind of like joking a little bit, mm-hmm. but nah, yeah. It's about a cult. Like, what's the yeah, thing? Yeah, so deal? these, uh, this, uh, I don't know how to say the church organization's name. Uh, it's uh, It was created by a Korean pastor gentleman. Um, and he linked up with one of these dancers and wanted to start a management group called 7M and uh, basically told them, which is like what happens in LA a lot, is a lot of young people come out here with dreams and then they meet someone. And as I'm saying this, there's like some, it's sad, but there's some truth behind it. It's like a lot of young people will meet someone that can change their life like with just a snap and it is very true but then they end up like losing a piece of themselves and so he basically was like yeah let me just manage you guys and then all the uh all the money it'll start coming in and because one of the guys wanted that they had he had the following but he wasn't able to like actually secure consistent brand deals and he basically like oh i got you and he delivered. But he's like, join my church? It's a church? <laughs> yeah. So uh, when when they joined the management group, then part of the deal is they have to do Sunday service. And but these are you also too, let me add, these are <clears throat> these are people that actually like they believe in God. Like so it it wouldn't be like someone coming to me or you and like we, uh, we would ask that many questions like, yeah. about it. We, yeah, I mean, we, we, you know, we would, but they wouldn't because it's like, oh, you're talking about I can do dancing. I love dancing. And then I could be close to God. <laughs> yeah. Sign me up. True. Yeah. So it's easy. And they started, you know, grabbing their friends on and they're like, and they're seeing their friends get successful. And they're like, oh, wow. Okay, cool. I'll join. But then later on, that's when everything starts like unfolding and people start realizing certain things and like, wait, he did what? He made you do this? No, he wouldn't. Yeah. It's it's good. Cults. It's good. Cults. Have you been approached by any weirdos? Like anything that maybe wait. Okay. Hold on. Have you been to any like LA parties since you've been here? Like not just like clubs, like, but maybe like a house or, or anything. No. Oh no. Okay. So have mm-hmm. you been approached by anybody that kind of maybe on that kind of side? Um I had Hell a whole yeah. No, I had a homeless person spit their cigarette at me while I was walking from my job to the garage. Does that count? He what? She she spit her cigarette at me while walking. <laughs> and I literally chuckled because I was like, ha, this is LA for you. So I just Did it hit you? Yo, what? It almost did. I did the oop. So oop. I dodged. I dodged it, but yes. 
<laughs> Actually, no. I did. I was walking around Hollywood. They didn't approach me, but they were walking past me. And there yeah. was someone who was dressed dressed up and they had a mask on. It was like, have you, is it the strangers? Oh, Purge? Is it Purge? Something, I don't know, but they had Stranger a mask. Stranger and Purge, they have masks. They had a mask and their hair was like two little ponytails. It was really creepy. I've okay. never seen something like that. That's Hollywood. I, it really <laughs> creepy. I, I like. Kid. I had to take a double look because I was like, "Oh my god, that's like really creepy." Like just. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. I was. I was sketched out. I was like, "Wow, that's really creepy." I think, uh, and because I, you know the word is a little bad, so I'm not gonna say it. But um, it wasn't my first time being in L.A., but it was uh, Tyler's first time being in L.A. We were walking on Hollywood Boulevard. And uh, this homeless guy basically, you know, was making fun of T- Tyler for being gay. And then in the same breath, he ends up calling us both the N word. And we looked at each other and we just bust out laughing because it was like, you're homeless and we're not. So like we just took the high road and it was it, it did it didn't make sense to even try to start anything because it's like yeah bro like your yeah. life sucks <laughs> no but, and, uh, I'm not gonna get now had it been someone that's a little not like it probably would have been a different story but it was a homeless person I'm not gonna waste my time with a homeless person no most of them Plus, have like honestly, mental issues people are pretty crazy you know yeah yeah they have crazy. nothing to lose so. they, they have no. nothing to lose they have they uh, definitely no, don't they have nothing to lose um so. You know, should we tell Joe how we met? Yeah, go for it. I don't care. Oh, we used to date in the seventh grade. That's Um, cute. Yeah, and then she uh, wrote a note and said that she uh, she's done with me (gasps) by note. Yeah, yeah. It was, and she (laughs) did a little. She did like a little like a little I'm sorry thing, but it, it is what it is. And here we are. Years later. And on the meanie. It's crazy. No, I'm playing. No, we actually, uh, there, there's a reason why I'm bringing this up because it's going to lead into the, the fun I part. I want to so. hear it. Go for it. <laughs> Wait, what did you just say? <laughs> I said I want to hear uh, it. Oh, no, no. We, we met on Hinge. Uh, did you use the pickup line? No. no, no, no. <laughs> I'm sick. <laughs> no, I feel like our conversation was really chill, right? No, it was true. Yeah. That's why I know. I, that didn't even cross my mind. Honestly, when I see nurses, like, the first thing that runs to my mind, I'm like, oh, I already, Ugh. no, hold on. <laughs> I already, cause I think you had, I don't, I think you had traveling nurse on there. Nope. No, you didn't. No, I don't put my occupation on um, hinge. I just put like, if you ask me then I'm like, oh, like blah, blah, blah. But I think I did tell you that like I'm a travel nurse yeah. and I'm going to be here for three months and that's that. Yeah. yeah. So I already knew going in like, oh yeah, this, this is not, yeah, yeah, this is not going to last long. But whatever, we're, we're entertaining it, uh, and here we are now. And, yes. You know, now you're on the pod. Yes, yeah. I am. Yeah. When did you guys match? How long ago? You said, it was probably in December. Was it December? I feel yeah. like it was sooner. I mean, like uh, earlier. You know, whenever you, in that three-week span of you having Hinge, apparently. I remember I, uh, uh, it, uh mm, yeah, no, it was probably... Ooh, no, actually it Maybe we after. hung out in it November because I remember I went on vacation. I went yes. back home. Yeah, but and then it was before that then. Before that, okay. Yes. This might be TMI, but why did you swipe right on him? Oh boy, I'm ugly. <laughs> he said it, not me. Yeah, so. Yeah. He's so ugly. <laughs> swipe right. <laughs> she, was, she was bored. I gotta, <laughs> no. I, gotta, I gotta tell him how ugly he is. <laughs> no. Oh my God. So ugly he is. <laughs> That's horrible. You gotta be the rawest thing. I, I'm funny. like, yo, this girl told me I was ugly. That's pretty raw. Like, shit. And then unmatched me. <laughs> Go ahead, say it. Let me, you know. Go ahead, say it. Well, I think I, I might mean, know. His photos were like pretty dope. So he seemed like a pretty cool person. And yeah. then once I swiped, we had a really good conversation. So yeah, and we went to Granville. Yeah, Granville in North Hollywood. Mm-hmm. Yeah, North Hollywood. Did you have a grand old time? <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Yeah, no, <laughs> I had fun. I enjoyed yeah, no, it. No, no, it was it was, uh, it was definitely it was good. There's nothing bad I can say. Like, no, no, it was, like yeah, it was good. It honestly, it just. 
I didn't even think she was. I didn't even think you were gonna stay this long. If I'm being dead serious, I know. Honestly, so me like, neither. Me neither. Honestly, I I really like. I was originally planning on going somewhere else, but yeah. there wasn't really anything that was like, oh, let's go here. So and then, then we went on a, a second horrible ass fucking restaurant. Fucking hate it. Oh my god, fucking that trash. restaurant was, it was trash. It was my first time, and he didn't I've read the reviews. Been, yeah, so. it's like Don Cuckoo's. That's why it didn't work like, out. No, yeah, sure, I guess. Maybe. Yeah, no, she, I, she hit me, hit me with the whole like, hey, so I think, and I was just like, damn, bro, like that restaurant bro. was so trash. I had to reevaluate yeah. you as that a person. That restaurant was trash. She was like, it's gonna be so good, and I like looked at the food that was coming out. No, I was like, if you valued, I said it was you my first me as a person, time. You would have like, taken the first time, man. I was like, mm, it was, okay. you know, and yeah, I think it was like a week later after that. Uh, I already had I had a third ready to go. You had a third ready <laughs> yeah, to go. Yeah, I did. Yeah. What was it? Uh, we were gonna do like an activity thingy, but you know. Activity thingy? Can't even tell me. No, this. I'm gonna tell you now. No, you okay. know. Nah. <laughs> nah. Oh, nah. Nah. no, he's like, nah. You don't, you nah. don't deserve that. It's oh, okay. I don't want to know my secrets. Yeah, no. no, I had I had it ready. I had something. But then you hit me with that. It's gonna be so Fuck. so cool too. <laughs> it's gonna be I so know, cool. I'm so curious out. now. You know, there's gonna be a concert. There's gonna be a hot air balloon. There's gonna be all this. Yeah, I was gonna take you to real Hollywood, meet some stars. Which wait, have you met any stars? Is it, I feel to, like, oh, to your knowledge. Wait. So what? Okay. So I, my friend came to visit, and we went to some bar on like the UCLA campus, and oh. Zendaya was having her movie premiere, and we, I was waiting in line to pay a ticket. And I, oh my god. I don't remember her name, but she's the one that. Oh my god, she plays on Euphoria too. I don't know why. Oh, like, Sydney. Is that no? Blondre? No. Oh, okay. The, I'm not the familiar, transgender I'm not one. Familiar with Euphoria at all? Oh, are you? The you know um, I'm trying to remember the yeah, I'm their not. name though. I know who you're talking about. But she was yeah. like two, three. Like it was a line, so she was behind me. Oh, and there were. So she wait. was just like being like a normal human being and I think she knew I knew it was her because I literally looked at her and she kind of like dug down because she uh, wanted to be because she wanted to be like it. Hunter who? Yes, I think it's yeah, oh, okay. I think it's yeah. Okay. And so she saw it and she did Yeah, all. because I think she wanted to be normal so I wasn't going to blow up her spot and be like, oh my God, get out of the photo. But, but I did take a photo of her walking across the street. So. Yeah. Super creepy. No, yes. my friends, no, no, my friends were, they didn't believe me and I was like, yo, like, you know, I'm going to, just give me a second, I'll take yeah. a photo. So I took a photo and they were like, oh, that's so dope. Which is like super cool though, but yeah. So when I see famous people, I try not to uh get excited or like like fan too much because I'm thinking like I'm gonna work with this person I don't want them to hey I remember you you were that like nah however at your favorite restaurant that Italian restaurant that's uh oh that my I god haven't been to yet. I went uh, there like last week yeah you, you always go I like, love that, that place spot. what's the, what's the oh, what restaurant you, you know it's I thought it was Uvo yeah it is yeah, does it? Uvo? Uvo. Uvo. Yeah. Uvo. Uvo. It's, a, it's, it's in so the, fire. The, that one it's so fire. sportsman lounge. Oh, area. it's the new one over there? Yeah, yeah. Uvo. She goes like all the time. Pasta's <laughs> yeah. great? Yes, amazing. It's fire. I love it. So nice. I was taking my little Try. walk stroll over there, and uh, Little Dicky came out of the sushi place. It was just him and his girl. Mm -hmm. And I like looked up, and I looked at him, and I was like, oh, Little Dicky. Hmm. Who is that? That's <laughs> well, I was really, I was really telling for Joe, but yeah. I mean, he, he, he has a show, <laughs> Dave. He's always like a rapper. That? Raps about his little <laughs> like you. That. No. you know when when I make it and someone brings me up, just say, oh, "Who's that?" <laughs> I, yeah, no. I don't know that. that? If you saw him, maybe. Yeah. No, no she's not. She's not gonna. Know. Oh, I feel like I've seen his face. Doesn't he have like the? No, I'm. Like, and I'm, wait, who, who, who you think? Who you thinking? Well, because there's a rapper who like has the. No, okay. Thinking of Jack Harlow. No, no. Yeah. Come on, I know who he is. Yeah. No, no, I don't. You know what? No. What no. rapper then? Now that has a curls? Is that what you? Um. Because yeah, Jack. Uh, I mean, his hair is curly, but not like down here. Oh well, then disregard. <laughs> someone else. Someone else. Someone else. I don't. Rudell Yankovic. No, he's not yo, she definitely don't. <laughs> if she says, "Yeah, I know who that is," like, yo, no, that person. I definitely don't know who that is. Get no. Well, how old are you? How old do you think I am? <laughs> Twenty five. Nope. Guess again. Twenty eight. 
Nope. I'm 30. Damn. Say so yeah, you're 30, our age. You know. 30. Yeah, no. I wouldn't know who that is, though. Does he yeah. rap a lot? I don't know. Yes, but I don't I, I don't blame her for not knowing. <clears throat> I she like doesn't. She doesn't. I don't yeah, like. She doesn't like. She's not going to. He's more of like a very, well, I, I would say. He's a comedy, parody artist, yeah. Uh, kind of artist. Like, that's not your realm okay. of artists. It's like artists back in the day. She likes her Bad Bunny, which you didn't see him in concert. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. You were going to say something about that. Because I told you not to say anything. Oh. Yeah, what? That I didn't Because it ma- happened. Yeah. Sorry. No. <laughs> no, that literally was me and four of my friends. We all applied for the code. Only one of us got the code. She finally made it into like the room or whatever. Room. Way. I don't know what it's called, like the yeah, waiting room or whatever. Room. And as soon as she started clicking the tickets, they were just disappearing. Yeah. Do, 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 do. So we didn't get the tickets, so I didn't end up going. Yeah. It's all good though. The code and for she, the room? For uh so like a lot of these concerts are these people are like it's impossible. So people People like uh, Billie Eilish. A uh, matter of fact, one of my coworkers were was in a waiting uh, a room to get into another room mm-hmm. to even get the tickets. This is fucking and stupid. Were, these people were there waiting for like <laughs> two fucking hours, three hours, six hours. Some people twenty four hours just like just to get a ticket. Just get a ticket. And it was the same. Bad Bunny's, you know, things sell out super oh quick. Oh, my God. They sold out super quick. And then the only seats that were available were super expensive. They were like a 1000 And I was Fuck like, the, ah. Wait, where were they sitting so. at? Were they up close? Or? They were up close because all the ones on the top got sold out. And then. <laughs> Cheap. <laughs> poor people. Well, I wouldn't say poor people because they were like 200 300 400 dollars They were wow. expensive, the tickets. I feel like they were expensive Very for expensive. Me. I wouldn't. Yeah. No, once the price started to increase, I was like, yeah, no, I'm good. Yeah, okay. Is Bad Bunny your favorite artist? He is one of my favorite artists, yes. Who's your favorite artist? My favorite, favorite artist as a right now. <laughs> definitely <laughs> him. Definitely him. <laughs> definitely him. Honestly, maybe it might be Bad Bunny. He might be number one right now. On the li- oh, no, I'm lying. I love J-Lo. Uh, I love J-Lo. Okay. Jenny from the block. Yeah. I am a big J-Lo fan. I went to her like, concert. I saw her. Just new- her music or also of everything else she does? Of everything. Although she did one of her movies I didn't really like. Ooh, which one? <gasps> um, Was it the musical one? That yes. She- <laughs> yes. I heard not I good things about that. I literally, and you know Sorry. what? I'm a which big movie? supporter. I don't remember the a, name. a musical uh, about, it's like her album of her life growing up and it was on Amazon. Yeah. I'll yeah. say this one. Marketing trailer, it looked dope. But watching it, it's like, yeah, girl. Yeah, no, yeah. I was very, very <laughs> disappointed by it. But, you know, I'm a true fan. So I saw her, her movie that just came out, Atlantis, and it was actually oh, yeah, it was good. It was good. Did you yeah. like it? Yeah, I like sci-fi. I was, like, I, honestly, like, really surprised because she's not an action, you know, yeah. type of actor. Yeah, um, she did actor. another movie that was, like, uh, her being, like, a secret agent kind of more dark tone that's on Netflix. Is that the is that the one where her daughter gets killed? Yes. Yes. Yeah, 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 that yeah. one was good too. Yeah. But yeah, but no, I like Jail. Movies. What's your favorite artist, Little Dicky? No. <laughs> we just say, yeah. say, <laughs> until <laughs> maybe he notices us. I say Def Punk, it's always been Def Punk. Oh, that's your favorite oh, artist? Oh, wow. Mm. They're classic. They're good. They haven't come out with any music lately, have they? Oh, no, they're oh, done. Yeah, They've I been done you since... Know, um, I do. Oh, yeah? I used to be a hardcore raver in college. I wish I could have took you to emo night. That would have been dope. Wait, hold on. Isn't it coming up soon? Grave rave. Wait, do you like emo music? Mm. Or like punk rock stuff. Blink One Eighty Two, Fall Out Boy. <laughs> yeah, that, I mean, that, that I, can, I can jam to it. You know, I do have Beverly like Beverly Hills. That's uh, where uh, I want to be. Living in Beverly. Living in Beverly. <laughs> yeah, you're That's a song yes. though, right? Yeah. <laughs> Lord Jesus <laughs> Definitely clipping that one <laughs> I, I mean I think Yeah I could, I could jam to it Why when is the next event? So, so Grave Rave is um, It's like it's EDM She's concert gone, But I then think. it's uh, they, they throw in uh, emo songs with it Whereas oh. like Emo Nights Just like just emo music that Oh wait fun. There is the one on the 7th But nah, that's, yeah. Oh the video game themed one Yeah Yeah, yeah. yeah that would have been dope There's Shrek Rave <laughs> Wait, when is that? <laughs> That's yeah, like, I know you uh, told me. The is seventh. Yeah. Oh, oh, it's on the seventh. It's just the same night as emo night, then. I think so. Oh shit! So many things are happening on the seventh. Yeah, I know. 
Yeah. Hmm. I might have to make an appearance on the streets before I leave. When do you leave? I leave on the 10th. <laughs> no, <laughs> stay off the streets. <laughs> stay <laughs> off the streets. Um, fuck, what was I going to say? Jesus tits. Okay, sorry. We'll, we'll cut that out. Um, okay, so I, I want to, because, you know, we're getting close to time. I get to the, 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 the good stuff. The juicy stuff. The, the juicy stuff. Juicy fruit. Um, you know what, Joe? You know what she she told me? And oh yeah, now now we can can I let me see the time? I could definitely say it now. Um, we went to Joey's. Okay, <laughs> hold on. Let the me just second me time just, or the first time? Uh, no, this is like I don't know. This is not like a date or anything. We just went to go. That was a long time food. ago. That was the last time we had dinner together. Yeah, That's we w- we went to go to Joey's. But here's the crazy thing is, you know. She 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 turns me down, right? And <laughs> the universe decided to make us dress exactly the same. Oh my god, yes! Same. I forgot. We, we showed that. up at Joey's, and our outfit is color co- like everything. But that happened more than <laughs> once, though. Yeah, because there was another time we went out to eat, and we were dressed alike. Yeah, without like we're not telling each other. I'm like, man, that's crazy. <laughs> oh yeah, oh, we're like, oh, yes. yes. yo, we did. I didn't even yeah, know. I didn't even think 20, about it until you said something. 20, I was like, like, are you guys matching? I'm like, 20, no, 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 no. Woo. Uh, but at the dinner, we're just chit chatting, talking, and then out of nowhere, she goes, "Oh yeah, I was married." And I was like, "No, no, no, no." Wait, we can't talk about you that. You were married? No, I was no. engaged. Oh, yeah. I wasn't married. Oh, no. I was engaged. Yeah. Yes, I was engaged. Yeah. So. She was engaged for wait, how long? I was engaged for two years and I was in a relationship in total for six years. That's so crazy. Yeah. And like the when she said it, it kinda threw me off. I was like, What? And then the next day I went through my head was like, Wait, does she have a kid? And no, she doesn't have a kid. But Although I, I can technically <laughs> lie to have a kid. Have you seen my screensaver on my phone? No. What? So your cat. <laughs> it is no, her cat. <laughs> it's my it's my friend's kid, and like sometimes if I don't want a guy to talk to me, I'm like, oh, like, are you gonna take care of my kid? <laughs> Wait, uh, no, you're lying. That's funny. I've done that at the bar before. No, yeah. No. Yeah, no. And, and then the, one and, the guy and, says, yeah. And then I just like cut them off. I'm like, okay, bye. Yeah. There is no right answer. <laughs> <laughs> if I show you this screensaver, well, bro, did she show you the screensaver? Yeah, she's not interested. I'm sorry, bro. It's already done. Yeah, 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 no, yeah. Just take the <laughs> Wait, so, uh, so you've used that screensaver before? I have, and I've let my friend know too, just in case. Just, oh, for yeah, legal yeah. Like, like if I sit here and like go out, I like message her and be like, just an FYI, I told them that I had a son, and I showed. Yeah. Uh, kid. Yeah. But yeah, you're engaged. <laughs> For two two years, mm-hmm. um, can can you explain like how that experience was and like you don't have to go into too too details. Why did experience as in how like how did it did I yeah. enjoy it and stuff? Um, you know, this close to the. I feel like uh, when I got engaged, it was kind of like a tough period, uh, just because COVID hit, and oh, then mm. um, in twenty twenty, that's. It was 20, yeah, 2020, 2019, I got engaged. And then not only was I dealing with COVID and I hated my job, Mm. I was also dealing with my mom who had cancer at the time. So I was taking care of her with like the chemo treatments and stuff like that. Um, So I feel like I didn't really get to enjoy it. We had some issues that kind of like built up. Um, So it was was like enjoyable, but not enjoyable at the same time. That makes any sense. Would you guys start dating? How old were you? I was six years prior to that. I was 20, 20, 19, 20. Yeah. 20 and oh. wild. EDM shuffling. I really was. Yeah. Miami. I Ultra. was crazy. I used, I mean, I would literally like rave during the weekend and then have an exam on Monday. Did you go to space? I did multiple times. Yeah, I know. It's crazy. How do yeah. I know that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I practically live in Miami. Never know you really do. Yeah. <laughs> literally. Maybe I do have a another life that no you do <laughs> i'm gonna spot you in the Watch streets me. blair this is you no it's not fuck she found me no, no, <laughs> i'm gonna spot you in the streets i'm telling you i'm gonna be walking around I'm like, hey i know you i'm gonna honk at him and then <laughs> yeah, it's not gonna be him <laughs> um so yeah that uh, you were dealing with a lot of things and then uh that all that built up and then you you guys had to part ways um for the most I'm part, not yeah. Say too much details. But, yeah. For the most part, you know, he did what he did, and then I was like, okay, cool. Like, I see how you are. Like, then I left. Yeah. 
you think because of COVID that's why the engagement happened? Or like kind of forced uh, that? Or like if it didn't will, happen, okay. then you'd have been like, oh, it probably wouldn't have happened. So I will mm. say, I think a lot of it was kind of forced in a sense. We were together for like a good four years. And I told him, because I'm the type like, if we've been together for a while, like, you know, I do want to get married. I do want to have kids. I want to do all that stuff. How many kids? One or two. Might be pushing one, but um, but um, I kind of told him I, I kind of gave him an ultimatum, which I probably shouldn't have. Um, hmm. and I was like, hey, like you know, like we've been together for so long, why haven't you proposed to me yet? Hmm. So we went on vacation. I was like, if you don't propose to me by then, like I'm coming back single, like that's it. <laughs> so that's when you he, said that to him. I did. Oh shit. Because I'm not because I f- I don't know like I'm Damn. very big on marriage like I would like to get married so if I'm with you for like wait you guys four years four years I feel like that's a while yeah and if you don't propose like that's the problem so I think that was that's another issue Damn. that I think we've had because I don't think I don't know because I feel like when you know you know and maybe yeah. on his end I don't think he was ready mm-hmm. and I feel like maybe I was kind of forcing it or maybe I was just forcing the relationship no, in you know yeah. I think it was. <laughs> forcing it so I don't know I think maybe the pressure yeah like, so I don't yeah. think the engagement was because you really wanted to I think it was just because I kind of was like well Ultimate. if you don't do it yeah. I'm gonna <laughs> sit here and be single I think a lot of uh, unexpected relationships happen in 2020 and like marriages happen that probably should have never engagements probably should have never happened because during that time a lot of people were like oh yeah, we're all gonna die you know people's mindset type of thing well let's get married and probably having yeah. kids too because like, right. like, mm-hmm. well. well even though you were my situationship before the lockdown since you're here i guess we should just date you know mm-hmm. oh i guess now we're gonna have a kid and then the lockdown's done and everyone's like what the fuck you're a shitty person why am i dating you blah 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 yeah i definitely know of all i i know a few people that went through that kind of uh they had a situation ship prior before the lockdown and then since that was kind of like the only person they were dealing with personally mm-hmm. they were just like oh yeah i mean you could still come over and then well then relationship gets out of it and then one of them got a baby but you know to each his own so, yeah so you only want one one so far maybe two but we'll see how i feel you want like the don't sorry this is gonna sound racist but don't puerto ricans typically have like a bigger family like i would say the male species of puerto ricans yes yeah. um, <laughs> the male species. <laughs> but i but like my family like we're so small my mom's side mm. like i think if i don't have a kid like that's it like there's no more oh. yeah wow yeah 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 how long how long do you think you someone should be do do you do you plan on potentially getting married yeah okay so my question to you then is she says four years is long enough and okay fair enough i think 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 it depends on your age too yeah. yeah so what would you say would be a good amount of like long time to relationship and let's just say you guys are living together too. Let's just kind of you are living together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it, it would. I would. I mean, there's so much that factors into it too, yeah. like your age and stuff. Like if they were like 22 or like 25, it's yeah. like yeah, definitely, definitely see how long you know if you can live together, how long that lasts. And like, hey, if you make it like three years living together and stuff, it's like yeah, you mm-hmm. probably get married after that. But like when you're in your 30s and stuff, even like like fuck, I know somebody who's in his. Uh, 50s right now 60s right now and you just got in a relationship and they've been together for maybe like half a year and they're gonna start looking at moving in together oh, and stuff shit. so do i know like this the older person? yeah oh, okay so, so the older you get you know the quicker you kind of Dang. jump into those but i don't know i'd say it varies i agree i know with that's, him. A, that's a bad answer but no <laughs> no honestly i agree with you though because i feel like me being younger like i was like oh i need to like rush and like you know do like all the <laughs> things but now it's like it just it depends you know like yeah. sometimes you don't really know a person until you live with them so then it kind of factor it. so then it's like okay do you really want to be sometimes you don't know a person at all yeah, yeah. yeah if, if your last relationship if you if you yeah you said you were 20 when it started if it was like three years in and then you got engaged and then married and then had kids but then now it's like oh fuck 
<laughs> yeah, no, no, I look you got, back. You got I'm to like, the point of like what eight years was, and then you're kind of like, oh, yeah, I kind of don't want this anymore. You're like, yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, so. no, I thought I want new so much, but. Yeah, I definitely want to get married and have a have a family, lots of kids, but I'm willing to compromise because I'm not giving birth, so I'm going to have to, I know I'm going to have she to said compromise. said 15, she's like, no, 10. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's so I many do kids, want so. a, a big family. I do, and I do want to adopt, and I think that that comes from like what my mom was going to do with me and my sister. She was going to adopt, and it was like I don't know. From that moment, I was like, "Oh, I want to adopt when I get older." Um, and sh she talked about it for like two years. She was going to adopt uh, a younger boy and then a younger girl, but then she just you know never did. It's a lot of, you know, paperwork and stuff like that. Mm. I think that's what turned her away eventually. But that moment kind of like stuck with me too. Like, oh, you know, um, I wouldn't mind to adopt on top of having my own actual kids. So, but I do want a big family. So lots of kids. Just keep adopting. What about you? This one, this one, this one. I don't know. Said, Man, this wood, these wood. I'll take you. I'll take that kid. I'll take that. That sounds creepy. Yeah, that does sound creepy. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good thing we edit our own videos. I ain't got to worry about it. <laughs> that won't be clipped at all. We're good. We're good. <laughs> I, I think about that sometimes. Like when I see when I see people like do like other clips from other podcasts because they're talking shit on one podcast. I'm like, damn, that kind of sucks. But I'm like, oh, we do our own stuff. So I ain't got, you know. We we have control over our own stuff. We ain't gotta worry about some some shit like that happening to us. So if if we po if something gets posted, it's like ah well, you know I posted it, so it was okay. You're not hurting my feelings by trying to cancel me or whatever. There is that. There is one video. That one video that. Okay, so I had told. She's like looking at Joe. I had was telling a, a story about some some a situation that happened at Chick Fil A. I'm not gonna say it in details because don't want to go through it again however when we posted it on um instagram swear to god in 10 minutes in 10 minutes it was that video about that got 100k in 10 minutes and then we had to take it down because everybody was getting oh, on my yeah. ass about what yeah, i was I saying i remember that yeah. Yeah. and yeah. it i'll tell you off camera but just i was just like so excited like, yo man yo 10 100 100 k in 10 minutes that's insane and the comments were coming in but they were just like no one understood why i said what i said and then joe yeah, was like oh started, yeah, yeah we gotta we gotta re we gotta re-edit it because how it started did not sound right so we took the video Context down is everything yeah. and no, we, for sure we kind of added what needed to be added but then it got like 50 something 50 something that's like, so good, though. Still good that's so yeah, good the comments then, weren't the, as the like the second time the comments you. were like oh <laughs> yeah. yeah no they were they were like yo what the fuck why are you da -da 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 -da? and i'm like no wait and i'm like oh yeah it sounds bad <laughs> damn we gotta take this off and repost it and i was so mad i was like that's a hundred k i worked so hard <sighs> It was it was hard to take that down, but we took it down. But you know, but you still got fifty. Yeah, 50K. it definitely is. It definitely is more now at this point. It's like seventy something. But okay. <laughs> but now it's good comments. It's like, oh wow, I can't believe they would say that. It's like <laughs> it's like not towards me anymore. It's good, like, good. But there are some things I'm like, eh, you know. But it is it is what it is. Um, we are kind of getting close to the end, and that's okay. But however, I do have a question to ask you. Uh, what is the scariest moment you've ever had on a vacation? On a vacation, yeah, you've been on. You seem like you've been on lots of vacations, so I'm sure you've probably had a on scary a vacation. Moment. I'm trying to think, did I ever? As I'm asking this question in my head, I know I'm trying to think too. <laughs> like, have I? Ever? Have you had any scary moment moments on vacation? On vacation, yeah. I'm like Kevin. No. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, this, this is like a financial scary moment, but uh, it's just the way like Vegas has their their shit set up. So like, I don't know if this is all hotels, but I know definitely in Vegas, when you pay, it'll come out of your account 
but then they'll put the money back in your account. So then, it, so it's like, oh, I got money, but then what you don't realize is like that money is gonna come right back out when you're when you clock out of the hotel. I think it's I think that's only in Vegas. Is that does anyone everyone correct me? Eh, no, because yeah. in Vegas, all the hotels when you pay, they'll take the money out and they'll put it right back in, and it, it I, it's specifically designed so you can have money to go spend at, for gambling. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. But realistically, you're you're not. Because yeah, it's got to be just a Vegas thing. At the, at yeah, the end, no, I've never had they're gonna, that. Yeah, they're going to strip that money. And they're going to get it back. It didn't happen. So that that was a scary moment on that vacation. Like, oh, what the fuck? Like, wait a second. I'm trying to trick you thinking you have more yeah, money than yeah, you yeah, have. Right no. Yeah. Huh. You've been to Vegas? Interesting. I have. Three oh. times. Oh, oh. Do you play slots? Oh. Poker? No, I just go to pool parties and Why clubbing. Why do you just look like that? He's like, <laughs> <laughs> because it like chews me up and spits me right back out every time I go. <laughs> so <laughs> I think I'm I'm good on Vegas. Are you? Because I do you get a little little naughty out there without giving too much details? Because I know your mom's gonna. Watch. Do you partake in naughtiness? <laughs> yeah, you I honestly naughty. don't. I don't. I just get drunk and go to pool parties and <laughs> clubbing. <laughs> that sounds like even better. Yeah. Yeah. No, I do. I just get drunk. And go Whoa. To pool okay. So. <laughs> I might, allegedly, my, well, allegedly, allegedly. No, let me tell you. So my parents know I like to drink. So that's that. They already know that I'm crazy and I like to go out and I like to party. I have not yet. You've told me stories about you getting lit and everything. I have not seen this side of you. That's true. Because you never like you're never available when I go out. Uh, you never ask. What's your favorite spot to go out? I guess you can say now oh, that you're leaving. I went but. with her. Uh, she, um, she oh my was god. The one that, yeah, 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 you you know, no, you go. Yeah, yeah, no. She took me to a reggaeton night uh, at the club. I was trying to tell you that's Wait, downtown. Yeah, you, yeah, you were telling that's, me about that. It, the outside looks like, eh, but the inside was really nice. It was tree treehouse. Oh yeah, that, yeah, that's what that's it's called. It's called treehouse. Yeah. Tree, treehouse. Yeah, it's called oh, treehouse. Cool. And yo, okay, I'm just gonna come out and say this. She was looking bad. Okay, she was looking good, and she could dance. And I was like, oh, okay, she could dance. Yeah. <laughs> uh, doesn't happen. That's all I was about to say. Like Kermit the Frog. Like, <laughs> no, I was actually very sober, Sally. That time, remember? Yeah, yeah. That was when I wasn't but drinking. She was, she was doing her thing. However, <laughs> I'm gonna get straight to the point. She looks at me and goes, "They're about to fight," <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> yeah. "Who's about to fight?" And I'm looking at one group that I had saw, but she wasn't talking about that group. So when she said that, I'm looking behind her and I'm like, what? They're just, like, the group I was looking at, they were just taking pictures. But she was talking about a group that was like right on this side. And she just like moves out the way. And I get hit with like a plastic cup. But Thank they God. just they just start fighting. And I'm like, oh, oh shit. And that's what you said. Yo, and this dude comes around his group and just decks this other dude that wasn't paying attention. And he just hits the ground. And I'm just like, yo, what? They were just fighting. they were going hardcore parkour there. Yeah, yeah. and they didn't That's kick what him out. At they night. didn't kick him out. <laughs> <laughs> they did not kick him out. No, they did. Yeah, they, no, they, no. They, they took two of the guys. The, two of the guys that oh, were fighting out. They didn't take out the whole group because no, I saw I some so. of them still. Yeah, no. They took the guys uh, that were like some of the guys fighting. were still still there, which is I'm like that's weird. Normally you just you everyone gets kicked out. Ain't no, ain't no just the fighters like everyone. No, they were willing to risk it all. That's what it was. So, Damn. Yeah, yeah. Damn. that was uh, Treehouse was a cool spot though. I had fun. I enjoyed my night. Did you? Enjoy you, you I've been seeing your stories and you've been out. I'm like yo, she's been out these been last. It's been at least unless they're old like videos that. No, you're no, just I've been out. out. I've been out. Yeah, see? No way back. I out. saw you like not too long ago out and I'm just like, damn, I ain't getting no any. Went over Memorial Day? Yeah. I, I went so no that any. I went to I went to Pico, which they have I'm gonna probably say it wrong, Banda or Baile yeah, or whatever. That's my canceled. No, because my <laughs> friends always make fun of they're like, Oh, you're saying it's Banda, but I think it's like a baile or something like that. Um Baile Baile. So I went there for Memorial Day. That was actually really fun. I always have so much Where fun. Where is this at? It's in Pico de Vera. It's like Pico. Oh yeah, it's like to me. It looks like a little. Is that that event that you went to where you're like dancing, dancing like a crazy woman? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. you went back there again. I did. I oh, did. Did you meet your 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 guy? 
Should we meet a guy out there? No, I was actually really tired halfway. That's just you. <laughs> You're always. I was always tired halfway. Tired. I had so much fun. No, and then my friend's like, Ashley, go out. It's your birthday. You know, celebrating your birthday. And I was like, I'm tired. I need to go home. Like, yeah, no. Oh, yeah, you hit 30, so now that's where everything <laughs> Yeah, I was, well, the thing is, I didn't sleep like the days before, so yeah, no. But I have fun, though. What's your drink of choice when you go out? Shots, 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 shots. I was say, is anything any Red Bull? Shots, shots. Oh, Red Bull. Because that's what needs to be your party. Caffeine. Oh, I hate Red Bull. But, um, I do tequila. I like tequila shots. That's like my thing. Tequila shots. Yeah. Nice. Tequila pineapple mixed drinks, too. I really don't like pineapple like that. I used to do a lot. I used to do like pineapple and rum a lot, and now I just... No. Like straight up tequila on yeah. the rocks. Sometimes I'll have like tequila like margarita rocks, drinks and stuff like that, but they always make me pee a lot, so I'd rather just take shots. <laughs> hey, <drunk laughs> yeah, after. It's fine. Yeah, just Efficiency. get to the, just That's get to the point. About. Like I don't need to be going to the bathroom every twenty seconds. So. <laughs> yeah, no, it's it's a lot. What about uh, you? Uh Jack and Coke. Ooh, uh, All day. And whiskey. A, I like Kahlu- uh, Kahlua and Coke. That's good. What's Kahlua? It's coffee. That's what you put me on. Yeah, Kahlua and yeah. Coke. So good. The Jack and Coke, I wouldn't. Really, but it's like a coffee. You said, drink. ooh, to the Jack and Coke. Kahlua and Coke would be like 10 times more yeah. ooh, to most people. Really oh, good. wait, that's the Kinda one like that has like the yellow The yellow label. and red. Yeah. Kind of, yeah. Yes. Coffee with cool. I've never, never heard of that drink. Coffee and Coke, yeah. yeah. But my go-to is Malibu and Sprite, so. Malibu and Sprite. Yeah, I'm not much of It's probably like super sweet, right? Yeah, not that. That's pretty sweet. sweet yeah, uh, yeah, it's it's sweet. I mean, I it's like sweet drinks. So yeah. sweet drinks are deadly. Do you do you shot and then uh, take a chase, or you just shot and you walk away like, oh yeah? Ah, uh, depends <laughs> on my mood. <laughs> but I mainly just take the shot Wait, straight up. Are you a fighter? Like when you get lit, do you ever get in that urge? Because I know there's some people. Yeah, what kind of drunk are you? Yeah. I feel like I'm a fun drunk. Yeah, I will I just, say, though, so sometimes when I. Eee! No, I actually don't talk a lot. Like, I have a friend who talks. <laughs> just her, sit in like, the no, I, I just dance. I like to dance. I'm the type, if I get, like, when I start drinking, like, I want to go out and dance. That's what I want to do. Like, sweat. Yeah. 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 For sure. Yeah. But I'm not, I'm not a big talker. I have a friend who talks to, like, everyone, and she makes friends with everyone. And then I have to like pull her away and be like, no, we don't talk to them. That's a no, no. <laughs> That's a Surely. no. Yeah, I, we, no. We have children. Stop talking to us. No, because sometimes they're like older guys that are like, no. I'm just like, no, we can't do that. That's a no, no. But I wouldn't say I'm not a fighter. I've had times where like, I don't know. People are mean sometimes when they get drunk. So they like to bump into you and mm. then they get annoyed. And then you're like, yeah. I didn't do anything. Like, what do you want me to do about it? And yeah. stuff like that. So I've had times where I've had to kind of like defend myself and be like, yo, like, what's up? Like, stop. But yeah. I've never me. Like, I've never that was gone happening. Uh, those girls. Oh, my God. They, they did that on purpose. Yo, they, I was like, God damn. They did, and I was sober Sally there, too. And I was like, literally, like, we were hanging out in this one spot and they like intentionally like went to the spot and like. Like they saw me dancing there and they tried to push me to the side and I was like, yeah. yo, what are you doing? Like <laughs> my spot. Yeah, no, literally like and I uh, you know, I'm not full in Spanish, but I had to break out the Spanish then. Yeah. And I was like, What are you doing? Like and the girl was like, ah! and I was like, yo, like really? Like I don't have the energy for this. So Um And it, there's some cause this has been on the top of my head before we really wrap it up. If you had to name three X that guys uh, you, already, already <laughs> you already said the nursing thing so like we'll, we'll say like like don't add that in but what's uh and these are tips man so if you ever try to shoot your shot at her just keep these in mind what's three icks that you can to no no instant block cut off not even gonna so is this just like on hinge or just in general just in general whether it's hinge or just uh and yeah obviously whatever say they that. say whatever they do yeah um, okay, so my three eggs for me. One of them is, if I dance with you, please do not choke me. Oh, I hate yes. that. I remember that. I hate that so much Yo, with a passion. Can you, can you tell a little bit of that story? Just a little. Choke Which me? one? Because I feel like I've had multiple yes, stories know, of like men me. trying to choke me while I'm dancing. Like you'll be like, Doo, you know, tra, tra, like dancing, and then they'll literally like grab your neck and like pull you. And I'm like, that's not attractive to me. Like, I don't like it. Men, for some, are not all men. Men, but I feel like some men think that us female like it aggressive all the time, and I'm like, no, that's like just that's so inappropriate. That's during the boom boom time, not, that, like, not, not even not 
girl. <laughs> Not that we, yeah, yeah. But yeah, no, that's one of my, <laughs> that's my like number one ick. I feel like if I'm just getting to know you, I don't like when you are sexually like talkative to uh, me and all that. Like to okay. me, that just doesn't, I don't know. I feel like you're I, not one of those. Things that... No, I have to get extremely comfortable with you and yeah. I have to really know you and really trust you because before you start talking the dirty Yeah, because like men are reckless out here and I've had horrible experiences in that sense. So I just thought it's just. So what do you mean? Can you go into details of that or no? Um, yeah, for sure. I had an ex in high school who literally. He threatened me. He said, if you don't <laughs> love me enough, like, you know, you know, if you love me enough, like, you'll send me a photo. So I did send him a photo of me, like, in my sports bra and underwear sorry, or whatever. <laughs> yeah, sorry, mom. But she knows he was a horrible person anyways. So that's okay. So that's okay. Um, and literally afterwards, he would threaten me with that photo. So that's oh, to blackmail. Yeah, oh, yeah to blackmail. Wow. Yeah, so that's Damn. why I, I no longer, I do not send photos. I do not do any of that stuff. I am. There's a word for that revenge porn yeah pretty much yeah. yeah he was yeah so that's why i just i have to be really Wait, really so comfortable. he would blackmail you with this so he would then, always blackmail me yeah so then you would just end up sending more or would you no end that up, i only sent one and that was it so what would he be like oh if you don't cook me no food today he'll do something like that or well he will be like oh like like for instance one time i like slept over his house mm-hmm. and my mom didn't know and he and she I left know. my I, no, 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 listen, no she ended up finding out that I slept over his house because I left my flat iron there and we got into an argument and he sent a message to my mom and he was like just by the way like your daughter slept over and she left her flat iron if you could just like pick it up like oh. he would do like manipulate yeah he was very That's like fucked up. he Yo. was he was okay, very okay. manipulative <laughs> he would threaten me with certain things like that like yeah and uh, what's your third ick? My third ick? Oof. Yeah. My third ick? Hmm. Do, do, do. I know. I'm trying to think now. Do, do. My third ick. I don't really have. My third uh, ick. Um, my third ick. Wow. What really turns me off? Um, I don't really have any th- icks. Do you, Joe? I'm- me? No. You don't have any eggs? Joe's like, I take everyone them, has I, eggs. I, I take them I as they are. <laughs> I, everyone has eggs, I feel like. Uh, yeah, I can't think of. I can't think of my third one, though, but I feel like I do have eggs. Damn, I can't think about it myself. Yeah, I think that's. You don't have anything. You don't have any eggs? Everyone has eggs. Mmm. No, I don't. Right, I, I watch as soon as we we stop recording. I know. Yeah, I'm like <laughs> the minute we stop. Everyone like, has eggs. I'm telling you, everyone hits. I just can't think of like, like my third one. Hicks. 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 <laughs> what are you saying? Hicks. Hicks. Is it? Hicks. 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 Okay, stop. All right. Well, that's fine. We can we can wrap it up. Um, well. Thank you so much for coming on the lovely podcast. You're an influencer now. Ooh. Now you can go back to all your friends and tell them, like, I'm a content creator. I know, literally. <laughs> Are they excited to show. see this? How many did you people did you tell? Let's see. You don't have I that many th- friends, only like one or two. Uh-huh. No. <laughs> Joke's on me. Um, no, I actually told like a good amount of people because I was like so excited. So I have like one group chat in Maryland. I have another one in Miami. <laughs> I have the one here. I told my mom, I was like, I'm so excited. It's going to be so much fun. I'm curious. What was your, uh, cause you know, I, I get up early. What was your first thought when I had to sit you the long like list of, all right, this is how the show's going to go. Were you just like, whew, this is a lot. Or were you like, oh, okay, cool. I feel like when did you send it? You sent to me. <laughs> At seven o'clock this morning. <laughs> no, you sent to me yesterday, no? Yeah, yeah, but it was super early though. I was at work, so oh, I so, so I skimmed it, and that's why I was like, okay. But th- if you didn't realize, like, I didn't message you like actual yeah. like stuff until yeah. like I think what yesterday. What? Yeah. Yeah, because I was at work yesterday. Did it make you nervous at all or anything? No. Okay, good. No, I just like looked at it and I was like, okay, I gotta take care of my patients now. Yeah. Um. Well, since you're you know gonna be leaving, is there anything that you got going on like? Uh, how long are you plan on being in Miami? Are you just gonna you're gonna be a resident now? Yes, I the... am. I'm becoming staff. staff. I'm no longer gonna do travel nursing. Okay. Yeah. So. Yeah, she's not gonna tell you guys where she's at because she wants y'all pulling up. No. Uh, yeah. Please don't. Yeah. Well, have fun in Miami. Are you driving there? Are you flying there? I'm flying there. Um, I'm not driving there. It's too you're long of a drive. Shipping your stuff over there. Yes. Or something? Mm-hmm. My car is getting picked up June third. 
So. Yeah. Okay, Joe. You have anything? Nope. Um, go like and subscribe. <laughs> go like it. Yes. <laughs> go like and subscribe. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in on this lovely episode. As always, uh, we don't even have a date when our episodes ever come out. They just come out. Uh, but it's you, like keep refreshing. Yeah, go to Spotify and just keep hitting the refresh button. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we've been doing this since 2020. It's crazy. Wow. This specific podcast. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, we started oh uh, Craig yeah. and Colin in uh, fall of 2020. That's so cool. So yeah, yeah, doing it off and on, but still longer than most people in our circle of like spectrum of people that do podcasts. Yeah, I love that. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys for tuning in and. Uh, until next time. Until next time. Bye. Bye.